So hello guys welcome back to the channel and here I'll cover some common queries regarding the arcade and arcade facility type program. So before we start make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. First of all we'll talk about the arcade program what is it. So it is a program owned by Google you must be knowing. And here we learn about cloud computing, stack, AIML and multiple things free of cost. And we get some cool rewards which you can clearly see. So what is arcade program as I said it is owned by Google and here it has two cohorts. Like for example, let me open the notepad. Arcade is a six month event. Here we have two cohorts. One is from Jan to June and second is July to December. The current cohort which is running is of July to December. Okay. Now in the next cohort which will be starting in 2026 will be of Jan and June. Jan to June. Okay. Now here many people are asking about the Arcade Facilitator program. So what is it? It is similar to the Arcade program. You can see it's an add-on. It is not a compulsion event. It is an add-on. So here we have two month event. Arcade is of six month, but here is a complementary event, which is of two month. So here what we get, here we get bonus points. Okay. So here you can see this is our Arcade Facilitator homepage. You can see the enrollments are closed, but earlier it was open from August 4 to 13th of October. Obviously the deadline has extended. So you are seeing this 13 instead of 4. So now here we get some bonus points. Now in the Facilitator program also, there are some criteria. Like here, you have two rules. Okay. In the arcade, we have only one role that is a participant. But in the arcade facilitator, we have two roles. One as a student and second as a facilitator. Okay. If you have followed the channel previously, you must have seen I have shared multiple videos regarding it. So a student is who will be getting the bonus point. Okay. Now, if you want some cool facts, if I show you like here, if you can just see these kind of facts which are seen. So if you want to earn these facts, you need to become a facilitator. Now, what is the role of the facilitator? is to guide whatever they are helping like for completing the labs or helping the lab queries like for swags feedback also whatever swags you are having you can just pass in directly to the google team so these are the roles basically you can see if you have any cultural fest or any tech program or if you have organized any hackathon even in simple college or school you have organized a big workshop also then this program is for you so if you want to participate as a facilitator, you need to have a large number of students in your college, in your school. Okay. The minimum age is 18 plus for the participants to take part. So if you can arrange student, you can become a facilitator. How to become a facilitator? Currently the enrollment forms are live. If you just see, I will link, link the video in the description. So become a facilitator if I show you. So here I have posted multiple videos regarding it. You can just see. Okay. So if you can see here, I have already shared, here is the video, you can watch it and fill the form if you want to become a facilitator. And if you don't know and you want to just start now, you can become a student also. Currently, the enrollment forms are closed, but the nomination forms for the facilitators are live. You can watch the video, I'll share the form link, how to fill the form, all things are covered in this video. And you can easily complete it. Now, this is the quick thing. And regarding the students, you need to complete some badges. A detailed guideline regarding it, I have already shared. If you want to just understand, you can just check it out. Okay. I've shared multiple videos regarding it. If you still face any issue, you can comment down below. Okay. Like here, you can see all these videos are there. I'll link all these things in the playlist. You can check it out and understand. You can see these kind of goodies the facilitator get. So if you want to become a facilitator, you can always take part in it. The key concept of this summary is that Arcade program is for six month event and that is Jan to June, cohort one, July to December, cohort two. For facilitators, it is two month event, cohort one, April to June, August to, to October for cohort two. Now here are some key things you need to understand for participating in the Arcade Facilitator program, even as a student. For facilitator, you need a same email account. There is no issue, but for student, you need to create a new Gmail, new cloud skills boost account. For that also, I have linked the video in the description. You can check it out. So you can just prepare and become a new student. Basically, they want a fresh entry per cohort. Even if you participate in this cohort, that is the Jan to June, you have to recreate in July to December if you want to re-participate. So that you get more points because we have to complete some LAFI courses also and skill badges also. So this thing you understood. Now, second thing, as a facilitator, can you participate as a facilitator and a student both? So the answer is yes. You can participate as a student and facilitator both. And you'll be getting both the goodies of the facilitator and students also. 
But if you participate as a student, you'll be getting only student goodies which are listed on the Arcade homepage. So this was the quick thing. If you still have any query, you can let me know in the comment section. Do reach out to me via my social handles. You can easily see. So thank you guys. Have a great day ahead. Do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day ahead.